Miguel uh, here. We are again gonna do another quick little lunchtime stream of Donkey Kong. Lunchtime being a very loose term, referring to approximately whenever in the world in the late afternoon I take my break from work. So we're just gonna get right to it. I'm just gonna play a little bit of Donkey Kong um, until I have to clock back in. Hello, Minna. Yeah, Minna? Yeah? Yeah? She's like, you're awake, and you're up, and you're not sitting- oh, damn it. Wow, that was bad. We're just gonna reset. Hi! Yeah? Do you wanna say hi to the people? Yeah? Hi! Where are you going? There she is. There's the princess. And I'm gonna drop put her down now. She doesn't like it picked up that much. Um she tolerates every once in a while for me. <laughs> um So yeah. Uh she's like you're you're up. You're not in your bed. You are not at the computer. Why are you not paying attention to me? Um, and I'm like, princess, I do pay attention to you. Sometimes I need a little bit of me time. Um, so she. I almost died there because I heard her trying to play with the toy and I was like, oh, is she playing with the toy now? Good. That's why I purchased so many cat toys. Because <laughs> I do I do try and, um, you know, play with the cats during work, um, you know, if I'm on a, if I'm just like sitting on a meeting call um, and I like don't have that much I can be doing like paperwork wise. I'll pull out a teaser and I'll play with the cats, but or like after work, if the cats are not napping, um, I'll get up and uh, try and play with them as well. But most of the time during the day they just sleep, which mood. I wish I could do that. <laughs> uh, probably just because I just don't sleep very well. I have chronic, chronic insomnia, so I don't sleep very well. Um, and recently, uh, I haven't been able to get my sleep meds from my pharmacy, so it's been a rough couple of weeks sleep-wise for me, uh, which is unfortunate, but whatever. See what I can do with these guys. So interesting news that I saw today. Apparently, um, HBO is has greenlit some uh, new animated shows uh, for their service. Um, so they're doing like uh, they're doing like a Velma spinoff for Scooby Doo. Which, interesting, um, because it's like a adult animation, so it's like, are you gonna make her gay? Is that why it has to be adult? I don't know. Um, we probably won't find out. Uh, at this point I can't really point press, I'm just gonna try and get the, get some points, extra points where I can. Um, so it's like, oh, is, are you gonna make it gay? Is she gonna be gay? Is that why it's gotta be adult? I don't know. Um, and a lot of people are talking about that very excitedly, and I don't blame them, because, hello! Because uh, Velma's great. Obviously, like, the best Scooby-Doo character, hands down. Um, yes, I hit Swag Girl. So that'll be interesting, but something that I'm seeing also mentioned in the article, which nobody appears to be talking about, is uh, they've also greenlit a Clone High Revival, uh, and I don't know if that means, because they, they said Revival, not Reboot, so I don't know if that means that they're going to 
do a reboot or if they're going to pick up where the original series left off. So I'm very curious. Um, for those of you who don't know, because surprisingly, hi, Minda. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw my something on my computer screen jiggle and ch uh, realized it was her uh, hitting the webcam. There we go. Um, for those of you who don't know, because I was talking about Clone High with my sister um, this weekend, actually, and she had no idea what it was. It's a uh, animated show, I want to say from like the early 2000s or so, and the basic premise is... They made clones of a bunch of famous historical figures, and they're all uh, teens in a high school together. Uh, and I remember it being really funny. Um, I haven't seen it since college, and even when I was watching it in college, it was uh, outdated. It was off the air everywhere. Uh, my brother had just been talking about it, and I had seen some animation people... I really like online talking about Clone High, and I uh, and thought, oh, I should give this a watch. So I found it on a place and watched it. <laughs> um, so very interesting to hear that after all these years, Clone High is getting, um, they're making more Clone High, whether that be a reboot or a continuation, I don't know. But I just thought it was very interesting that they announced that, <laughs> and nobody, I, I see no discourse about that. Um, I just saw, you know, a lot of people being like, oh yeah, Velma series, heck yes, but nothing about Clone High. Uh, so I'm cautiously optimistic. I love me, I love me a good cartoon. Um, heck, I love me a mediocre cartoon. Uh, I'm always just, I, I just, I, li I like watching cartoons a lot, and um, it's especially nice and uh, refreshing to get animation geared towards adults, um, especially if they do fun things with it, like, and don't just, like, stick with the kind of Family Guy, Simpsons formula. Um, I can't believe he actually asked me that time I went away. <laughs> so yeah, definitely, um, I'm definitely excited about that. And I do need to watch more of the HBO, sh HBO Max shows, because I have heard really good things about the, uh, Harley Quinn series, um, and I've heard amazing things about Infinity Train, and that's streaming on HBO as well. Um, nice. So, I really need to just watch some more cartoons, um, because people are making really good cartoons right now. And I know that I haven't been paying attention to um, what's been coming out on Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network, but uh, I certainly have uh, been watching a decent amount of the Netflix animated series, like the Netflix originals. Um, like when Voltron came out, I watched that. I never finished it because um, I got really pissed off at them for the queer baiting. <laughs> um, especially after all the interviews where they're like, oh, we're going to introduce Shiro's lover and... Uh, he's, you know, he was a major character, blah, 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 and they, like, literally introduced this guy for, like, ten minutes before killing him off, and I was like, oh, cool, yeah, that's not, that's not Gucci, guys, uh, we're just, we're just not gonna, um, watch this anymore, and part of me is like, maybe that I'm less salty now, I can go back and, like, finish it up, because I was enjoying the show, shit. Um, but part of me is also like, do I really need to? I don't know. Um, I've been, I've been meaning to watch Dragon Prince. I've heard good things about Dragon Prince. I haven't watched it yet. Uh, obviously I watched She-Ra and loved it. She-Ra was really good. Um, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, 
The new Carmen San Diego was really good too. That I thought uh, that was really charming as a show. Um, uh, and that, that actually recently just ended, uh, which I'm a little sad about, but I thought they did a good job of um, telling the overarching story and ending it in a fairly satisfying way for something that they honestly could have just kind of made go on infinitely. So, um, so yeah, Carmen San Diego was good. Definitely enjoyed that. Yeah, Princess? She's vibing on top of my little pinball machine. <laughs> um, so yeah, Carmen San Diego was very good. Um, I also, because I am Jurassic Park trash, I watched the um, I watched the animated series that did Camp Cretaceous. And I went in with zero expectations because I was like, okay, you're making like a Jurassic Park cartoon. What are you gonna do with it? And they actually did a really good job with it um basically they're like oh we're gonna be doing this camp program at jurassic world um so they had uh, a couple of you know teens get to the park to be kind of like the trial run for the uh for the camp program and i thought they did a like, the, it, it was, I thought it was a pretty good job because, um, it's fun. It, uh, does a good job of kind of capturing the charm of the Jurassic Park series. And interestingly enough, um, and I guess spoiler warning in case you want to watch it, but I don't really think anybody I know personally is as dedicated to the Jurassic Park franchise as I am. Um, they did make it take place... Uh, like, like the the halfway through season one, the events that occur are occurring during the events of the first Jurassic World film. Um, so that was kind of fun the way that they were able to do that and make events from the film tie into what was going on in the show without uh, necessarily having explicit interactions with those characters um, that would, like, then, you know, ruin the canon. Um, oh my gosh, my screen is just wigging out, and I do not like that. Nope. I also don't like all these guys chilling here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I probably should have just like climbed down instead of chilling there trying to lure some of them down. Um, but yeah, so I watched the two seasons of uh, Camp Cretaceous that are on Netflix. And uh, that was... it was a fun time. Um, again, I don't think that it's necessarily as enjoyable for people who aren't as into Jurassic Park as I am. Um, but that is... I mean, that's totally fair. I mean, not, I, I have a Jurassic Park tattoo. Uh, like, and not everybody loves a series to the extent, loves a series, especially that series, to the extent that I do, where I'm like, I need a tattoo um, of it. Uh, and then a show I watched last week, which had just dropped, um, was uh, Kid Cosmic and the Rings of Power, uh, which... At first, at first I was like slightly annoyed because it was doing the Netflix thing where you log in and it starts auto-playing like a little preview for the show and I'm like, oh, stop it, don't care about that. Hi Ramses. Um, like I don't, I don't want previews for the show, but the preview was charming enough that I was like, okay, I'll, I'll give this a watch. Hi. Hi, are you going to be Gamer Boy with me? Um, the preview was charming enough that I was like, okay, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll give this a try. Um, why not? Uh, shit, shit, shit. <sighs> Fuck. God damn it. I just got in a bad situation there. Hi. Hi. Hi, Bugaboo. <laughs> um, that was a really good run, actually. 67,800. Um, so yeah, Kid, Co Kid Cosmic. Uh, it was really good. Um, first season dropped on Netflix, like, last week. And I started watching it on a whim, 
and I was and as I was watching it, I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh, this is really delightful. Uh, the the animation's fun. The writing's pretty good. Um, it's kind of a riff on like the Silver Age um, comics and sci-fi of like the 50s and 60s. Um, so totally my jam in terms of totally my jam in terms of the uh, plot and the content of the story um and sure enough during the, <laughs> the credit sequence uh, i'm sitting here i'm like oh this is really good and credit sequence pops up and it's like uh, uh, created by craig mccracken directed by craig mccracken and i'm like of course i like it if it's craig mccracken like he did powerpuff girls he did um foster's home for imaginary friends um a lot of cartoons that i liked as a kid so it's just kind of like of course of course it's him like and i was actually ashamed of myself because i was sitting there going why didn't i recognize the animation style sooner like this is definitely his handiwork um i just didn't pick up on it immediately um which normally i'm really good at uh picking up animation styles uh because i do watch a lot of cartoons um but yeah, so I recommend Kid Cosmic. It was a fun time. Um, especially if you're a fan of um, like old school comics, um, like you know, like old, old Green Lantern and stuff. Like very much so. Uh, a love letter to oh shoot, a love letter to those sorts of stories. Um, yeah, it was just it was just a fun time. Um, definitely recommend it. I'm trying to think if there's any other like cartoons on Netflix that uh, like Netflix originals that I've watched. Um, but yeah, I mean like I've, I've enjoyed the ones that I've watched. Oh, he's just meowing. I was like, I heard Ramsey's meowing, and I was concerned for a second, but that's just his. I'm a boy! Pay attention to me, because I'm a boy! Oh, uh, yeah. That's the problem, though, now, is that there's so many streaming services, and somehow I've acquired access to a ton of them. So, when I want to watch something, it, I have just so much to choose from, and it's ridiculous. Um... This must be what people in the 90s felt like when suddenly satellite TV and, you know, the extended cable packages became a thing, and it's like, I suddenly have 500 channels, um, except in instead of having to, you know, sort through, well, there's 500 channels, but are any of them actually showing what I want? It's me going, okay, I have half a dozen streaming services, which all have content that I want to enjoy at some point, which do I feel like watching now? Um, it's actually a bit of a joke that every time I want to watch a horror movie, um, I'll go on, like, I'll go on to Netflix, because, um, my, my list on Netflix has, like, a huge amount of horror movies just saved on it, um, but every time that I go on to Netflix to watch a horror movie, I also go, but what if I looked at what horror movies are now on Netflix? I know I have 30 saved in my list that I could just pick one and watch it because I know I'm interested in it. Yeah, what? Yeah? You get a plum pie? What? Yeah? What's up, dude? He wants to climb up on top. Of yep, there he goes. There he goes. I'm too late for Swag Barrel because I had to show off Ramsey's being tall boy. I'm here to the turtle. I control everything I can see. Yeah, princess. Oh my goodness. Both cats are like, why are you not paying attention to us? After I'm done streaming, I definitely need to go upstairs and grab a teaser and just go let them go to town with it. Oh, 
he got down. Normally he gets up there and then screams because he can't figure out how to get down, and I'm just sitting there going, Dude, <laughs> you, you, you got up there yourself. Come up with the exit strategy before you climb up high, please. Yeah, look. Nope. No swag, girl. Jump. Um, yeah, so every time I go to watch a horror movie, uh, instead of... Shit, I knew climbing up that thing was a bad choice. Oof! Every, instead of going, okay, um... Instead of going, okay, like, let's just pick one of the many horror movies that I've already picked out that I know I'm interested in. I spend 30 to 45 minutes going through the horror movies on Netflix, and inevitably I open up at least 10 that I'm like, ooh, this sounds interesting, and it's already on my list, so it's like I could have saved so much time had I just committed 30 minutes ago to watching the thing that was on my list, but no, it's, and, and majority of the time I don't even end up watching something that was on my list, I watch something completely different. Um... Which is typical me. Just get overwhelmed with all the options and just do something else. I feel like that's part of the reason why there's a bunch of shows that I've been meaning to watch and I haven't watched because um, uh, 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 oh, oh, I thought I was done there. Um, because, as I said, I do decide, oh, I'm going to watch something. Um, and then I go start looking at the streaming services to watch and end up going, oh, I don't know about this, this seems like a big commitment to decide on something to watch, and instead I end up, uh, I end up, um, like, watching, like, another reality competition show, just because it's easier than deciding what plot-based show I want to watch and commit to. Um, it, it's, it's easier just for me to go, uh, let's watch this cooking show, and then I watch a cooking show. <laughs> I do, I do, I have a meaning to watch Infinity Train, because I have heard good things from a lot of people about it. Um, and now that I have access to HBO Max um, through my brother, I do want to give that a shot. Because it's also, it's like, from people whose opinions on shows I trust, I'm like, okay, like, if you're saying it's good, it's probably good, so I should, I should watch it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's just hard because, you know, I hit that point where I'm just kind of like, well, I should just, you know, if I really want to watch a show, I should just sit down and watch it, but I just feel like, I feel like I get such a limited amount of free time that I feel like I am just constantly you know, do trying to maximize my free time, so I don't just sit down and watch a TV show hardly ever. It's like, I want, when I want to sit down and watch a show, it's like, okay, I gotta pick out a show that I can watch, and then, like, play a game on my Switch at the same time, or, like, scroll through Twitter on the same time, because I have just such limited free time to, you know, actually do what I want. Shit. As soon as I went for that last jump, I was like, uh-oh, I should have just gone for it. Eh. If. Alright. Alright. We have time for one more before I go back to work. Uh, Alright. So we're gonna start it up. Yeah, and I do have... I do have plans later this evening, but maybe I'll do an early evening stream after I get off of work. Um, because I have 
uh, a little bit of time between getting off of work and my um, commitment this evening, and I do want to play more Donkey Kong. Especially because, as I said, I just feel like I'm getting close to be to hitting that 100k. Like I just need. To... I'm like saying this, and I'm like, oh my god, I sound like a junkie. Like I just I just need one more time, man. Just need. We're resetting. That was bad. Um, I'm annoyed at that. I just need um. Like I just need one good run. Like I think I have the base skills up to a, and, and, like, and this is me being very hopeful speaking, I think I have my base skills up to a high enough level where I could potentially hit that 100k mark. Potentially. That's actually kind of a big leap though now, thinking about it, because my real, my high score is 82,900. So I would need to complete probably at least three more boards from that in order to get to the 100k mark. So, at the very least, I would like to have a run and beat that high score, because I've been getting to the point where, not every time, but like, pretty consistently, if I have even like an okay or mediocre run, I'm breaking the 30k mark. Um, and if I'm having a good run, I'm scoring anywhere from 50 to 70,000. So I think if I have just a particularly good run, I can um, I can get that up to um, I think I can get that up to past the eighty two nine hundred that I have. Um, I think I think I hope I dream. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just turn off my machine after the session, I think. The <laughs> screen's going all wobbly, so I'll turn it off and let it rest for a while, um, and then turn it back on when I play later, whether that be streaming or not. Um, Cause yeah, I just- I think- I think I'm getting there. I think I'm getting closer. Um, especially- I know yesterday I had a couple of runs that uh, hit past 70k. You know, just a few runs ago I did one that was in the 60s. Um, so I, th I think, I think, I hope, I dream that I can do it. Alright, I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna go over here. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah. Run for it and try and get these two guys. Nice. All right. So those two are on the left now. That's very helpful. All right. Cool. And I think part of it would just be if I just didn't try to do stupid things, I would um, probably survive more. <laughs> but. I feel like on this level especially, I'm like, well, I know I can point press on it. I know I can do it, so I'm going to try for it. And that's when I end up in bad situations where I'm just surrounded by guys and can't do anything. So I'm trying to be more cognizant of that and not push the point pressing as much on the rivets. Nice. Okay. I'm, and also another note of improvement. I am getting a little bit better at hitting the swag barrel, which is nice. Because that's like my goofy little thing I want to get better at. <laughs> the rest is actual, you know... Oof, nope. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. I think, the, I think the biggest issues I'm running into at this point are... Um, are the rivets and trying to push myself too much to get to that point press and then um, definitely barrel control which I've said multiple times is something that I'm very well aware of that I need to work on um, and just getting my timing down the barrels and apparently just getting my timing down for picking up the top hammer too so I don't 
die. Alright, cool. That was okay. Would have preferred to have not lost a life there, but... Um, did okay. I'm getting significantly better at that spring jump, too. Um, even just the few days of practice has helped a lot. Boom. There. Yeah, I'm not even... It's gonna be a long time before I want to try and point press on springs. <laughs> I feel like I need to be a lot more confident in my ability to do that level. Um, before I'm gonna try and push it for extra points. And that's okay, because again, at my skill level, if I can just clear more boards, um, if I can just clear more boards, it's gonna help me a lot in terms of my uh, point totals. Alright, we're just gonna do this. I don't think this is the smartest move per se, but if I can get a couple of these guys stuck over there. Ah shit! Ah! That was just bad luck. The hammer ran out right as I uh, would have smashed that guy, but oh well. That's okay. We'll just do it better this time. So we can get more points, that'd be cool. And that's always the uh the last guy comes down just as I uh just as my hammer runs out. I'm just sitting there going, oh okay. Alright, that's one, that's two, alright. That's three. Okay, cool. Nice. I should have hit that rivet before I climbed up here. Um, now we're just gonna get that done. 700 points, I'll take it. Um, had I hit that rivet, um, probably would have been a little bit safer to point press more, but oopsie! <laughs> Bye, mister. Since this is my last run of this stream, it would be cool if I could hit Pie Factory. We've got two lives to do it, so hopefully that works out. Hopefully I can avoid wild barrels. Nice, okay, 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 okay. There we go. Alright. All right, we are going to the pie factory. Very happy about that. Cool. All right, one, two, three. There we go. I 
don't want to take chances, because... I know at this level that I can just, like, kind of clear it super easily. Not super easily, but, like, easily enough. So, yeah! I don't want to try and pull off too much stupid shit. Um... Oh, hello! Hello, friend! <laughs> Wasn't expecting another one of you! Okay, 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 okay. Alright. Now Donkey Kong moves over there, and done! Clear! Excellent! Love it! Love to see it! Alright, now up to springs. Good. Sometimes I just, like, get nervous about making that quick immediate jump to the hat, even though I know I can do it. <laughs> It's just like another one of those psychological things about the game where I'm like, I don't know if I can make that jump. It's like, of course I can make that jump. I've been practicing it. That one I did not make, though. Um, phooey. <laughs> Alright. One more life. Come on. I would love to hit rivets again. Up here to avoid this guy. He's very persistent. There we go. Right, we're gonna up here. There we go. Alright, hit rivets again. I said I would love to hit rivets again. We're happy to be hitting rivets again. So that's good. Alright. And I don't really know what the cutoff in terms of levels is, where you should stop trying to get to that bottom purse. I guess we'll just learn by experimentation. Like I potentially am right now. <laughs> Alright. That's one bit cleared. Um, I'll take that one. Alright. Uh... Yeah, we're just gonna do what I can to try and play somewhat safely. Um... Okay, I should be able to... Alright, clear that. Got a couple points. I'll take what I can get. Alright. One guy smashed. Two guys smashed. Alright. Not the best, but far from the worst. For that one. Got that, and now we're just gonna clear that top rivet, clear the board, live for another barrel board. <laughs> uh, I really wish I had goofed up that jump on spring so I had another life, but I don't. Oh, <laughs> feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. That's okay. That's okay. Alright, jump there. Climb up in here. Oop, excuse me. Uh, jump over that. Again, this this level I don't want to say gets easier, but it kind of does because I do have a little bit more barrel control. Um, so if I'm paying attention and working on my board awareness, um, I can uh, shoot. I'm working on my board awareness, I can pay enough attention to like try and move barrels out of the way over kind of on this side so I can climb up on that side. Alright. One, two, three, four. There we go. I'm just sitting here like, please don't make a stupid mistake on Pi Factory, Danny. <laughs> Alright, come on. I'd like this fire guy to go away, please. Ugh, he's just frozen up there. Like, I would really like these guys to not. <laughs> um, yes! No! 
Okay. <laughs> That brief moment of panic where I'm like, no, don't do that. <laughs> oh man, okay. So now we're at the point where they're uh, putting in uh, multiple barrel boards for each level. Um, and uh, this is another one of those like kind of thresholdy things I measure myself by, and I go, oh cool, I got to that point because I don't usually get to that point. Um, so that's very nice. Um, and cool to do that. <laughs> that feels good. Um, I think earlier in this run is when I had that feels bad man, that feels good man to get to this point. Okay. <sighs> Excellent. Very, very good. Okay. Now it springs again. So the third spring level, which is what we're currently on, um, this is a bit of a gatekeeper level. Um, this is like what really separates casuals from people who can hang. And I missed the jump! Oh my god! No! Uh... But... As you'll probably notice, uh, I know the numbers at the top of the screen are like really hard to read with this camera angle. New high score, 87,100. We did it, guys. We beat my old high score. Um, that's 5,000 closer to the 100K. Um, so honestly, had I not goofed up those two springboard jumps and died that way, um, that might have, that might have been the, uh, the 100k run right there, um, which just means I'll just keep practicing and I'll get better. Um, oh, that was so close, but it's okay. I get to, uh, update my high scoreboard. The princess is saying, hello, Minna, you want to say hi to your adoring fans? Oh, okay. No paparazzi for her today. <laughs> so thank you for coming by. Um, really appreciate it. Again, follow me on my Twitch channel uh, to... Thanks! Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Um, thanks for the well done. Uh, so yeah, follow me here on my Twitch channel. Um, I also cross-post everything to Fireband Flocks Gaming uh, once I'm over uh, with the stream and download the VOD and upload it and everything. So everything is archived there as well. So thanks a bunch. Uh, hopefully I will stream a little bit more later today after I get off work. Uh, if I do, I will tweet that out. And uh, hopefully I will see y'all later. Thanks a bunch. <laughs> Bye.